What's up, y'all? This is Questlove, and we're about to see which of these rap hits gets my cosign. The name of the show is Songs That Shook America. And in short, it, we just take hip hop classic songs and we dissect them. I compare it to uh, music's version of ESPN's 30 for 30. I think the state of hip hop is where it should be for me to expect the music of my era to sort of stay in one place and not expand or grow. Um, is actually quite foolish. I feel is that every year it unleashes a song that's a, a stop the world moment. You know, who knows for 2019, maybe those Shaquille O'Neal disses might be. <laughs> Thinking about my grandmama and shit. I got the number one record, they acknowledge the jit. They going crazy when they play a head bobbing and shit. And I'm just someone fucked up thinking about my father and shit. They found him dead a couple days before I started to the same day. I flew back to the city from Miami. I'm actually a fan of the baby and I'm trying to get him on the Roots picnic. So <laughs> even if I felt some sort of way, <laughs> I'd be like, thumbs up. No, I, I, I messed with the baby. I was trying to give me a billion dollar uh, baby chain also. So <laughs> like a lot of rappers rap about the regret of their family not seeing them bloom into where they are now. That happened with Chris Rock. That happened with Possum, De La Soul. With the song, I, I, I messed with it. I liked it. Wow, chicken noodle soups and oldie but goodie now. <laughs> BTS is their own universe. Where it's like some pop dudes, some hip hop dudes. Like everybody, every demographic and psychograph is represented in this group. In the BTS universe, would he be the method man? Wait, I'm really impressed with the way that these cars are falling out the sky. Like, wait, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to stop one second. American culture is finally opened up to this. I'm definitely like, what? What took y'all so long? Because a lot of people just really don't treat, like unless you travel the world like I have, you really don't know how big hip hop culture is over there. And what's even crazier is like what I call quote, real hip hop culture is more prevalent in other places, but the United States. I'll put my foot on the gas, take off. I cannot let these boys pass me. Make a move in a single get nasty. Wait, they from Philly? No one has a beard. So you already know he gonna blast me. They're all clean shaven. All right, they're at the plateau. To give people a perspective, this is the same place that Will and Jeff shot in summertime, but it's like, <laughs> it's like polar opposites. All right, this is the first old guy question I'm gonna ask. You, you just straight up show Glocks down in your videos? Philly has always had a, a street element to it. This is kind of in the spirit of what Protect Your Neck was. You remember how amateurs Protect Your Neck looked, but yet like, is some gritty about it that kept you there. The fact that this has 14 million views means that, you know, if he's serious about his business, he has he has a future. I'm a master. master. Y'all should give me honorary master. Master. And I love how she's turning turning on their heads. Like normally in rap videos back in the 90s. It was dudes on the corner playing dice. I had that moment once in my life, torn with Cypress Hill, never again. That was the quickest I ever lost $500 playing dice in Japan. When rap cats get bored on tour, <laughs> first thing they try to do is take all your per diem money away. And I was the perfect sucker for that. I think what Rhapsody is doing here, she's putting sugar in the medicine. You have to be smart and draw people in. So at the beginning of the video, the visuals, the dice game, the 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 style of it all, the colors, the edits are meant to draw you in. The real message is now the sucker punch, and this is the sucker punch. Did I really just forget that melody? I can tell this is gonna be a doozy because it's under three minutes. Was he a viral TikTok star before he became a rapper? Kind of like someone that can make fun of themselves. And he says, I'm corny. I mean, it's edited well. There's great use of color. Humor is is an aspect. You can't go wrong with puppets. This, this is a powerful pack three minutes. I don't know what I watched, but I definitely know that a couple hundred million people love it. Took the coal out my heart, went and put it on a watch. When Alicia's last album came out, she had a uh, young M.A. Uh, drop a verse at the top. 
back when no one knew who she was. But Swizz kept telling me like, yo, just wait, just wait. This is the one, this is the one. So always had my eye on her. Yeah, like I I love it, especially what she did on her uh, Funk Master Flex freestyle. My generation, the beat gotta come in the gate like a bull through the wall. This generation knows patience like no other. They, they let... I was about to say, the beat didn't even come in till a minute and one second. What I admire about her MCing is her subtle nuance and kind of quiet flow where you really believe that every word she says is, is her experience. And that's authentic to me. <laughs> Like if I'm curating a concert, if we're thinking about, all right, who's next for the Roots Picnic? If there's someone that I feel that should be on the Tonight Show, because often I'm asked like, yo, who's next? Who do you think? I'm always, you know, on the hunt for who's next. When watching the baby video, um, the wedding scene stuck out because it's very rare that you get to see that type of love and declaration in hip hop videos. Every person in Philly I know has SUNY beards and if this is the future, then I might have to get rid of this. Well, the message that I got from the Rhapsody video um, was definitely towards the beginning of the video. Um, the, the visuals were closer to that of what most 90s rap videos were about. Okay, so after watching all of these videos, I will say the artist that gets my co-sign is definitely Rhapsody uh, with the Oprah video. Um, she's come a long way and I expect a lot of great things out of her and this is just the beginning. What you have to understand is that hip hop is a derivative culture. Even though music seems that it's linear, it's really a circular thing. So whatever was in vogue 2008, 2009, 2010, that's pretty much gonna happen all over again. Questlove's mixtape potluck uh, is really a gathering of 50 of my friends bringing over dishes and telling you how they were prepared to a party and I pair with music. Now that my generation are the, the kind of the proprietors of these, uh, these food spaces, it's often times that I'll hear Enter the 36 Chambers by Wu-Tang Clan, like that's the old school selection of the night. So imagine uh, having course number three to shame on a nigga. You know, <laughs> sorry. <laughs>